Always alerting, always tracking. This is Next Weather. It's just gross outside. I mean, it's rainy and it's humid, but there is some good news ahead. We right. just have to wait this out, get <laughs> yeah, through this. Exactly. We've got the heat, the humidity, the rain, of course, to deal with this morning. One of those Saturday mornings where maybe you just want to kind of stay in bed a little bit longer. We're really waking up to kind of a gloomy start. We've been tracking these showers and storms that continue to move, especially across Miami-Dade County. Broward County, you've been a little bit drier so far this morning. We are still tracking some downpours in spots, particularly out near and just south of Hammocks. Kendall, Cutler Bay out towards Key Biscayne with some additional rain. Heads up, that's working its way eastward and will be arriving across some of the southern metro zones here uh, momentarily within about the next 15 to 20 minutes. Downtown Miami, you're currently dry, though we do have a little bit of rain out towards South uh, Beach at the moment. We're also now beginning to see some showers track towards Pembroke Pines, just to the south of that. Hard Rock Stadium also beginning to see some light rain at the moment. This moisture comes ahead of our first front of two that's set to move in as we head over about the next 24 hours. This is going to be the much weaker front of the two. Out ahead of it, though, we are feeling the humidity and of course seeing that chance for showers and storms. The second front, and this is the one we're looking forward to, is a much stronger front that's currently working its way through the Mississippi River Valley, up through portions of the Midwest. Behind that, some much cooler air. Check it out, those current temperatures falling into the 50s or parts of Texas, up through Tennessee, 30s out near the Rocky Mountain West, and that's what eventually is going to be cooling our temperatures down locally, but not until Monday. In the meantime, we actually have a day of what should be some record heat. Miami-Dade County, or rather Miami, uh, set to tie record today with that high reaching to near 92 degrees. Some showers and storms out ahead of this first front that will be dissipating and as it does so it's going to be pushing the activity farther south throughout the day on your Sunday. Most of the activity then coming to an end Sunday night and here comes that second front bringing in the drier and cooler air. Check it out as we head towards Monday morning. We're looking at our first lows in the 60s of the season. This is since last May so it's been about 150 days since we've seen lows in the 60s and Tuesday looking even cooler. Tuesday actually should be the coolest morning we have throughout the week where you could even see some 50s farther inland. So something to look forward to today is going to be rough in terms of humidity, a very soupy air mass right now. 82 degrees as we take a look outside across Miami, a lot of cloud cover, some rain droplets on the camera feeling like 91 degrees at the moment. And we do, by the way, have heat advisories in effect today with the potential of seeing a heat index as high as 108 degrees. Spotty showers and storms take us really throughout the day today through the afternoon and even into the early evening hours. I do think those chances will start to taper off heading into late tonight for Broward County, Miami-Dade County. All this motion is going to continue to shift southward so that by the morning hours, we could still see a few showers around the area. That'll be clearing from north to south. So the key is a few more showers for Sunday, but we're actually going to start to dry things up locally across the area for the metro area at least as we head throughout the day Sunday with some of that drier air beginning to work in. Of course, today is the partial solar eclipse. The full eclipse is happening out across the western United States, but we will see some of it. It starts at 1157. The peak at the eclipse will be about 133, where you should be about seeing 50 to 60 percent of the sun and then ending at 311. Hopefully the clouds hold out. Maybe we'll get some breaks in that to actually see it. Uh, but with the cloud cover, of course, it could be a little bit difficult. By the way, it's recommended to look at that with those safety glasses and not with the naked eye. Across the tropics, tropical storm, storm Sean, a tropical wave out across the eastern Atlantic. Sean will continue to weaken, shouldn't be much and should not be a worry to any land areas. The tropical wave that's just off to the east of that high chance of development. This is going to be working its way westward across the central Atlantic and eventually we'll get very close to the Caribbean islands. We've seen our long range models indicating so as we head into early next week or rather uh, the upcoming later portion of this upcoming work week and into next weekend. So it's one thing that we'll be watching, not something to worry about right now locally, but we will continue to keep an eye on it. Next seven days, there's that cool down 90 on Sunday, a high of 81 on Monday and there are those cooler overnight lows in the 60s.